Sir Brahat. What's that in Brother Roberts? Not much, man. I just sent you an email with some vegan recipes in it. Oh, I, thought, I thought you were about to say something else. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, Brother Tarty. Oh, How you doing, Brother Tarty? Good afternoon, Brother Robert. What's going on with you? Good. Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Okay, <laughs> good. How you doing, Brother Hawk? I'm well, how are you? I, I think you didn't hear me. I think you might have heard me and said Roberts, but it's all good. <laughs> oh, okay. we, we, well, we both said, we both said hi. That's what it was. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Brother Goodman, I'm, I'm good though, Brother Tardy. How you doing, bro? I'm doing well. All right. How you doing, Brother Goodman? Doing well, bro. How you doing, man? Doing so, well. Brother Goodman? Sorry, let, let me let me mute this game now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get myself together. How you doing, Eddie? I'm good. I'm good, bro. I'm good. That's good. Just, uh... Gary, good to see you on Manuel, Aldrick. Remember, yeah. you're gonna you're gonna have to take your uh, cameras off mute. Show yourself. <laughs> Brother the poll Mark said he'll be on too. Okay. I love the new Zoom updates they have now. Oh yeah. Yeah, with the various um for reactions you can do more. You can heart like a conversation. Oh, yeah, I see. Someone it. say yeah. something, you can laugh and everything. So right, right. And also with the breakout rooms, um, people can choose where they want to go now About instead time. of you, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're not doing breakout rooms today. And also, you know how when you're doing the um, when you're doing the presentation, you can mm -hmm. now have your head floating wherever you want to go within like a PowerPoint on on there. What do you mean? So, so when I start so like, presentation, yeah. So when you start a presentation, um, you can have yourself in front of the presentation. Oh, okay. I normally just move it out the way or minimize it so it's not like yeah appearing. It's from my. Uh, just mind me, just bro. I'm still, I'm, I'm still gonna be playing the game. It's just I gotta quiet down. Oh, for real, Carter? You gonna still be playing the game? <laughs> I'm not playing. <laughs> What's going playing? on, Carter? <laughs> I'm talking to my friends. <laughs> we know. I didn't even know, <laughs> I didn't even know <laughs> that I was. I was on mute. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Busted. Busted. <laughs> we have like two minutes for more more uh, people to sign in before we get started. Uh, Brah, have you heard from Brother Fuller? <laughs> look, look at my expression. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, yesterday he did mention that he was doing it, and uh, I think he's going to have Deuce pop in too to make a smoothie or something. Well, I, I told him yesterday before I left, you know, I had a conversation with him, right? <laughs> and I let him know he would be on the front end, right? Meaning right. today. Right. So he was like, you know, oh man, I thought I was going to be on the back end, but it's, I wanted to see how it goes. Da, 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 da. I said, Brother Fuller, it's not, it's not that deep. Like you and I can have a conversation about it, you know, but I haven't seen him since. Like right. man, he didn't come back. So I haven't seen him since. So 
I don't know what he got in the work. So, okay. you know, I try to prepare as if they're not going to be here. Right. So we just going to let this flow and, you know, take okay. it as it comes. I got you. He, he did, he did um, register. So his name is there okay. as if he's going to be a participant. But I didn't see deuces. So I don't know if he going over if he's going over to Deuce's place or yeah. if they're gonna be in nineteen eleven. I don't know what it is. Okay, we'll see. <clears throat> yeah, man. I'm going crazy. Though. I might need to go get one of them car kits and put it together myself for something to do. <laughs> I know I'm getting tired of Netflix. I think I've seen all of Netflix. <laughs> Netflix, half of Amazon Prime, half of Hulu. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm going to start on the Obama book tonight. Yeah, I bought it. I haven't started. It's been sitting in my kitchen for about a month now. Yeah, y'all, y'all keep me busy enough. <laughs> We had a movie night yesterday and watched um, Mulan. Okay. How it was, was that? Pretty cool. It wasn't bad. The, the, the movie. movie. Yeah, I pictured you for a Frozen kind of guy. <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my daughters, we, my, my youngest daughter wanted to watch it. So it was cool, though. I mean, you know, I, I, I received this one message yesterday about how Disney's portrayal of black people in movies, especially animation movies, Mm -hmm. is very like, it's very limited to screen time with the actual person being shown as being black. So for example, in this phenomenal movie, Soul, I don't know Mm -hmm. if you saw it yet. Yeah, I saw Soul. Mm -hmm. So in Soul, the majority of the movie is him being this little blue being, not him being black. Right, the ghost, yeah, right. not the ghost, the spirit, yeah, being the spirit. Right, being the spirit, right. And when you look at Disney's um, Princess and the Frog, the majority of the movie, she's the she's a frog, you know. So there's several different movies like that, and um, they were showing the percentage rate. And as I was watching, you know, Mulan, even when you watch the cartoon, the animation of Mulan, you know, throughout the whole movie, she keeps her identity, right. Mm-hmm. Not in not in many black films with black people being the star of the movie, do they actually keep the identity of that person? Hmm. I never thought of it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I did like the movie. Still like the cartoon better because I like the music, but (laughs) but um, but, um, I, I thought they did a pretty decent job. I think so too. Yeah. Oh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Carter dropped off to go play his game, huh? <laughs> yeah. Is that what he said? Nah, yeah. he's not here no more. I don't see him. I think he had to go back to get his mute situation worked out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell his mama. <laughs> All right, my guys, we're gonna get started. You need to take your uh, turn your camera on so we can see you. Thank you, Josh. Elijah, thank you. Kahari, thank you. Oh, Manuel, excuse me. Screen just jumped around. Thank you, Kahari. Camera on, you gotta take your camera, turn your camera on. There you go, thank you, sir. <clears throat> Carter's back. Yeah, I see him. I thought I just saw Gray, but where where'd he go? Okay, I see you now. All right. Carter, you gotta turn your camera on, young man. All right, thank you, Carter. So first off, let me start by saying it's good to see you gentlemen, you young men. And uh, of course, it's always good to see my frat brothers, you know, in attendance. Um, Today, actually this month, 
this month's topic is going to be on health education and we should have a guest speaker coming in <laughs> he's not here yet but if he doesn't we're just going to have a, a dialogue about health education and what that um what that might look like right so i'm going to go ahead and share my screen um my frat brothers will be watching the screen to make sure you guys are still there and making sure you guys still have your cameras on. I have uh, Aldrich, where's Aldrich? Did he drop off? Yeah, it looks like we lost him. Yeah. All right. Hey, Carter, you see that Vita game in the back. <laughs> I know, I'm not playing it though. Okay. All right, he's back. Okay, Aldrich, you back? All right, cool. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Hold on one second. Aldrich, remember you gotta keep your camera on, all right? All right, cool. Okay, so of course I already did my greetings. This is our actually wrong wrong uh, slide. <laughs> so this is what the setup is uh, is going to look like, right? So fifteen minutes, thirty, and then fifteen minutes, right? I didn't mean to click that. Hold on a second. So this is gonna. This is our agenda for today. Um, after I finish this screen, we're gonna talk. We're gonna go into our our call to order. We're gonna talk about the minutes from the last meeting, and then we're gonna discuss old business, some new business, and then a closing. So it's gonna be pretty quick. Um, it's not gonna take long. Should we should be out within an hour? Okay. So here's where I need my young men to come in. I need two volunteers. Who's gonna volunteer? I need someone to act as president and someone to act as members. I could be the president. Who's speaking? Elijah. Elijah? All right. Yeah. Keep in mind, I'm taking notes as to who, who's, um, who's volunteering their time. So Elijah, you're gonna be president? I could be a member. Who, who said that second one? Aldrich. Aldrich, awesome, Aldrich. Okay, so everyone else, make sure your camera's on, but mute your microphone. And we're gonna have Elijah, who's gonna talk as president, speak as president. And Aldrich is gonna speak as members. And you all should be following along because normally in presence, if we were in present, um, in person, excuse me, uh, we would be reading this together and in unison. Okay, so Elijah, you can go ahead and get started. This regular meeting of the Kappa League is now called to order. Invocation will be rendered by uh, Manuel. Manuel, is he there? Do you mean me? Yes. I can't, I can't hear him. He didn't say anything yet. So Manuel, on this part here, you're doing the invocation. You know what the invocation is, right? The invocation is? Um, no. It's, it's basically a short prayer to start the meeting off. Oh, all right then. Gotcha. Okay. So you're you're up for the invocation. He nominated you as to to be the person to uh, render the invocation. Got it. So in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Um, God, may we have this good meeting and go forth with our good day. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 
Amen. What is the purpose of the Catholic League? The purpose of the Catholic League is to promote and develop the leadership potential of its members through participation in club-oriented activities and at the same time motivate them to raise their aspiration level. What is our pledge? I pledge that as a member of this Kappa League is faithfully and truly perform the do the uphold objectives of ship. Yeah. Aldrey, your, your, um, your connection went, went a little haywire. Can you reread that for us? I pledge that as a member of this Capital League, I will faithfully and truly perform to the best of my ability and duties and responsibilities to uphold the objectives of good leadership development. This meeting is now open for, business, for the business to be presented. Uh, to the Very good, gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen. So, as it stands right now, we, we really don't have, um, we haven't done our election yet, which is what we're going to be doing in a few minutes. So I'm just going to read off, you know, what took place in, at the December meeting. If you have an input, um, you can, you know, you can raise your hand or you can chime in, right? So, uh, the December's meeting. Let me ask, uh, out of these participants, just go into your reaction and put like, um, put a hands up if you are participating in the monthly scheduled national guide right meetings. So they had one on the 12th and then they had one yesterday. So if you've participated in one of them, just raise your hand for me. Let me see who, who that might be. Okay, very good, Elijah. And Mark Holmes. <laughs> okay. All right. Awesome. Um, Elijah, were you at the one yesterday? Yeah. Did you participate in the one yesterday? Oh, the one yesterday. No. Uh, uh, Mark, real, real quick, brother Hawk, who's who's six zero nine four three three six zero five two? That that might be. Um, yeah. Brother. That's me, brother. Brother Palmer. Okay, cool. Uh, Mark Holmes, you you were in the one from yesterday, right? Yes, I went yesterday. They talked about Black Lives Matter. Yes. Want to you want to share with us what what happened yesterday? They gave uh, it was a couple of Capital leaguers and they gave a presentation about what was going on and how they felt. And I think one of the things they talked about was how to act towards a cop if you get pulled over, or um, basically just trying to stay, remain calm and try to comply. Um, they gave various of different steps to, to act as different police officers. So that's what that was my takeaway from it. Okay. Okay. Glad to see you here, Mark. Glad to be here. All right. So, um, I think there's, well, we'll get to that. So there's, there's more, um, of course, monthly meetings that are going to be happening. Um, you guys should participate. Make sure you participate in it. I'll send it out via Zoom. And you just mark it on your calendar. I, I don't think that the links change. So you can actually put it embed, like embedded inside your calendar and then show up to it. That would be great. So we had our regular scheduled meeting on the 13th. Um, this year, we gave out as a fraternity, uh, excuse me, as Cap, uh, our Trenton Kappa League chapter, we gave out gift cards to families within our community, right? And so you guys don't know it, but I sent out an email to your parents and the first five that responded were the recipients of a $100 gift card to that family. So, you know, you can thank your parents for responding you know, quickly, right? Um, and of course, we didn't have our fundraiser, you know, the winter bowling fundraiser. So in terms of old business for the, for the financial report, we've given out over $800 worth of uh, gifts. 
So that includes the gift cards from, you know, you're participating in these meetings to the gift cards for both Thanksgiving and uh, Christmas. And then in addition to that, based on your participation, uh, I had a, we have a fraternity brother, Brother Bullock, who arranged a partnership with, um, what's the name of the company, uh, Brother Roberts? Uh, Trenton Digital Connect, I believe. Trenton right. Digital Connect. That's correct. Hey, hey, Brother Paul Mark, how you doing, sir? Hey, how are you? All right. Um, so with Trenton Digital Connect, and we were able to give out five, five uh, laptops to young men that participate in this in, in, in our meetings. So um, I think that's a great thing. You know, of course, I think it's a great thing. Um, I would like to, we would like to be able to, you know, provide you all with more, but you have to be engaged in it, okay? Um, in terms of committee reports, there isn't one right now. National God Rights Saturday. So this is the schedule for the God, for the God Rights Saturday meetings. So we have February 13th, March 13th, April 10th, May 8th, and then June 12th will be the final one. So when you are participating in it, please make sure that you are one, dressed you know, in your Kappa attire, your Kappa League attire. Um, Mark, when you participate, were, were they, did they have on their uniform? Uh, most of them had their uniforms on. If they didn't, they had some type of Kappa League shirt or a capital E hoodie. Okay, thank you. So make sure you, 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 you dressed appropriately, right? So what we're gonna do right now, from our last meeting, we actually had some nominations from the floor in terms of uh, who's gonna fulfill the offices, right? And so what I'm, gonna, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna stop this for a minute and we're gonna do a quick poll and only the young men can respond to this or should be responding to this. So- Brother, Brother Hawk, this is Brother yeah. Gibbs. Can I interject for one second? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Can we uh, agree uh, that the bowling party has been postponed as opposed to canceled? Because we're actively looking for a date. Um, and you know, obviously when the pandemic opens up and so forth, so we are looking to reschedule that. Absolutely, thank you. Thank you for that. All right. Yes. I'll make sure I change that in my in my mo my notes as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when we did the um, nominations from the floor, we had uh, two positions that had uh, I guess a runoff, right? So the president's position and then the secretary position. For the president position, there were two nominations from the floor. There was. Joshua Goodman and Arrington Ryan. And Arrington, my apology on misspelling your name. I just noticed I put the ES at the end of it. I'll correct that as well. Um, and then for secretary, we have Carter and then Arrington Rhymes again, Arrington Rhyme again. So I'm gonna launch the poll. And it is anonymous, so if you guys can go ahead and vote on one person, just one person, and then press submit um, for each one of the questions, that would be great. Hey, Brother Roberts, can, can you do me a favor? Sure, what's up? Can, can you count how many young men we have? I can't, I can't see them right now. Okay. Um, let me get this off my screen. We should have, looks like 11 votes total for each one. Okay, so we're waiting for two more people. Okay. Wait. 
Wait for one more, one more vote. Still looking for that one vote. I'm not sure who, who it is that hasn't voted, but if you haven't voted and you're a part of Kappa League, go ahead and vote. Yep, you should see 11 votes, 11. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the uh, poll for now uh, with the 10 votes that we have. And here's the results. So Joshua Goodman, you've now been appointed as the president and Eric Tim Ryan, you are now the secretary. And give me one second. So for vice president, Vice President, we had, is actually, Vice President is still open. So if you're interested in being the Vice President, then you can just, you know, you can either put it in the chat or you can send me a message. Um, but Vice President is open. And then Parliamentarian is Trent. Is Trent on the line? No? Um, I don't see him. No. Okay. So Trent is... The parliamentarian. And I just saw your message, Damir. If there's no objections to it, Damir has volunteered to be vice president. I have a question. Another that wanted to be vice president? I have a question. You have a question yeah. on the floor. Yeah, no, I, haven't, I haven't been to the recent meeting. So what did the presidents and secretaries for? So what I'll do, I'll I'll send out what the position entails via email, and then you can if we have time today, I'll, I'll, you know, backdrop and talk about it at that point. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Was there anyone else that was interested in vice president? Okay, cool. So if there's no, no one opposing him, then Damir will be the vice president. And I see Trent just joined us. Trent. Hello. Hello. How are you, young man? I'm doing good. I'm sorry I couldn't. I, I got the email. It took me a long time to find the Zoom. I'm trying That's to get all to right. It. We're glad you're here. Um, Trent, you are actually down to be the parliamentarian. Okay. What's that? Right. And, and that's what I'm about to tell you. So Aldrich just asked basically the same question. If we have time today, then I'll go back and I'll share, share it with you uh, what the positions entail. Um, otherwise, if we don't have time, then I'll just send it out via email and you can read over it. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Hey, Mark, you want to lower your hand for me? My hand's up? Yeah, your hand, your hand is up. Oh, my bad. I didn't know. It's okay. All right, so can you see my screen right now? Mm -hmm. Does it say new business? Yes, it does. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> All right, so uh, the next thing on the agenda is in terms of new business is the Delta Sigma Theta Black History Month program. And that's gonna be held on February 20th now Here's the twist, they act, they're actually having a meeting right now that I couldn't be a part of, but there's a twist. With Deltas, their, their structure is a, a bit more uh, stringent than ours, right? So in terms of students being on video camera, they couldn't allow that to happen, right? Even, in, even though it's on a Zoom meeting, they didn't wanna have that process being recorded. So what they did was they ask that the organizations that are going to be participating kind of flip it or reverse it so that the students come up with the, with the uh, skit for the adults to perform, 
right? So the students come up with the skit for the adults to perform. So I'm counting on you guys to come up with something. <laughs> so don't, don't make that face, Mark. I saw that. <laughs> so the idea is, uh, or the theme is, don't you see us? Don't you hear us? Right? And so you collectively, as young men, would kind of put together a skit for Brother Roberts and Brother Tardy and Brother Gibbs to perform on, on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that part. Yeah, I read too. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's basically uh, a chance for you guys to put together something for the adults to perform on camera, be that it, even if it's just me, um, then I would perform it on camera. So that's something to think about. The performance is on the 20th. Of course, we have two more meetings um, before the 20th. And I need to hear back from you gentlemen on you know, what your pleasure is. So please reach out to each other, have a conversation with each other. Um, if you haven't, you know, shared information or communicated with each other, please do, right? So we can, you know, make this happen. The next thing is the art competition that's being offered through African American Cultural and Collaborative of Mercer County and the National Sorority of Phi Delta Kappa Incorporated, the Pi chapter. So if you're an artist, that I just received this, I think either today or yesterday, that this was actually it was today. I actually saw it on Instagram. So I figured I'd share it with you. If you're an artist in any of the categories below and you would like to participate in this black, black in the future uh, concept, then you have up until the 25th of this month to submit it. And you can find all the information out down at the bottom. I can share this as well uh, via email, but there's a site down at the bottom for the Pi chapter. And then there's an email address that you can send to as well. Okay. So if you're an artist participating, you never know, you might, you might actually come in first place. The next thing we're going to talk about is a campaign that's being ran by my fraternity, right? And so the purpose of this cap, this campaign is to raise awareness about the importance of mentoring. So in red is the part that is specific to you. This was sent to me as a brother, but this part in red is specific to you. So we wanna hear from you as you know, a mentee and a participant in our guide rights slash Kappa League program. You know, give your testimony on how being mentored by our program has impacted your life, right? So think about, I mean, if you're a new person, you know, I, I, I can anticipate that, you know, it's not a huge impact, right? But if you've been here for a while and you see the things that we've done, you know the things that we've done, the places we've gone, um, the role that we play in person, then give your testimony, right? And it could be short, doesn't have to be long, you know, every bit of 30 second, a 30 second spot, you know, just talking about it, no more than a minute, right? Um, just talking about your experience. And then you can send it to me via email at Trenton, Trenton Kappa League dot, excuse me, Trenton Kappa League at gmail.com, right? You can send it to me that way. Um, you could text it to me if you choose to. Um, it's probably best if you just email it to me. But if you send it to me, then I can post it on social media. And the whole goal is to bring awareness to mentoring, okay? So we want you to be able to participate in this. So. Um, I'm not going to ask for volunteers right now, but definitely Mark Holmes and Damir and Trent and some of our other young men um, who have been here for a while, uh, you guys should definitely be a part of it. And even, and even for um, Manuel and his brother, even though you guys are really new, you still have some type of experience with it. So I look forward to seeing that from you guys. Plus, Plus, we have our own website for our, for our chapter website and our foundation website that we would like to make sure that we 
put you guys up there as well, because that's where a lot of our funding um, can come from too. So um, it's, it's good for, for us to actually have your voice um, talking about your experience, being a part of it so that, you know, we can raise, potentially raise funds too for more programming and stuff like that. Everybody understand that? All right, cool. And this is just a, a picture of what that social, social media, um, you know, blurb will look like, right? So it, it can look like this with the hashtag and then down at the bottom, we'll put like, you know, a little bit of verbiage next to it or maybe not. So today's topic is health education. And it's one of our, did, did, did anybody see Fuller come on yet or no? He's not there yet? Okay. Um, so health education is the, the fifth uh, pillar or the fifth phase, excuse me, fifth phase of Kappa League, right? And it's an opportunity for us to talk about physical fitness, about sex education, drugs, health and safety, mental health. That's not up there, but mental health is definitely a component of it. And so before I actually go to the next, the next slide, I want you guys, gentlemen, to share with me what you, what do you think health education is? Like um, sex. That's what, we, that's what we did in school, like we learned about sex education. Who, who's that speaking? Uh, Mark. Say it one more time. Uh, sex. No, who's speaking? Mark. Oh, okay, all right. In school, we learned about like sex and um, sort of thing. Like all the systems of our body, like respiratory, um, I forget other systems, but like all the, um, systems in your body that help make it the way it does. Okay. One more one more participant. Um I think it's about educating yourself on how to maintain like a balanced, healthy life and not um not not like breaking unhealthy habits. Okay, and what what would be something that's an unhealthy habit? Like eating too much junk food. Um, okay. You had another? Can I add on to it? Who is that? Aldrich. Yeah, go ahead. Um, say like having a healthy mindset too and stuff. Um, thinking positive and stuff. Ah, self awareness, right? We talked about mm -hmm. that, right? Okay, let me get one more person to chime in and give me a different topic that, that kind of embodies health education. What else does it include? No volunteers? Like it okay. depends on what you eat and stuff like that. Or like, or like, uh, like the bad, yeah, bad health education. Like having bad health will be like if you were like I don't know like uh, do a lot of drugs or something like that. Who like, who is that speaking? Jediah. Jediah. My health right now is teaching us about the good drugs and bad drugs and what drugs we can use to, to help benefit us and the drugs that are bad and stay away from. Okay. So this is this is how health education was defined is defined by um, by Wikipedia, right? Health education is a profession of education of educating people about health areas within the profession. This profession encompasses environmental health, physical health, social health, emotional health, intellectual health, and spiritual health, as well as sexual and reproductive health, right? And aside from the environmental health, well, you really can talk about all of it, right? So how we define it, 
So do you consider yourself healthy? How, how are you considering yourself? Do you consider yourself healthy? And if so, from what aspect? So let me, let me go back, right? So you have a spiritual health, an intellectual health, an emotional health, a social health, a physical health, right? From those, those perspectives named, where, where do you see yourself in all of them? I think I'm a physical health. Who said that? Aldrich. Aldrich. So you think you're more physical health, healthy than spiritual healthy? Mm -hmm. Would you think that you are, what, what, what would it mean to be physically healthy? Um, to stay active, to always like, always exercise or something like that. Yeah, cause I, cause my dad wants me every morning I have to run like four laps around the baseball field in front of my house. Okay, are you a baseball player? Yeah. Okay, cool. Anyone else want to chime in in terms of physical health? How are you but, staying healthy? But I do swim now. But wait, what'd you say, Audrey? I, I do swim now, though. You said you do swimming now? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, cool. You guys know I'm not talking to my fraternity brothers about this question, right? So you y'all can chime in. And I think I think what's happening right now is that my older young men like Damir and Mark are trying to give you other gentlemen an opportunity to speak. Right now, my tally marks, Aldrich is kind of leading the pack right now with, with the tally marks. So I'm just saying, you know. I'm physical health too, I'd say. So how, how, how are you physically health, healthy? Um, well, uh, before it started getting cold out, we used to go to the basketball court every Sunday, me, my brother, and my dad. Okay. Um, and every Saturday we work out with my dad's personal trainer. Okay. So, so this is uh, Carl Gibbs on, on the physical health side. <clears throat> I definitely uh, need improvement. I, I started to uh, go to the gym, uh, tried to get there between four and six days a week. Um, it's, you know, beginning of the year, you kind of set some new year resolutions which plays into it, <clears throat> but that's that's definitely one that I focus on. <clears throat> yeah, and so he, here's the um, thing, and I appreciate that, Brother Palmer, Brother Gibbs, to, to just, you mention that. Go ahead, Brother Todd, do you want to chime in? Bro, hi, can I interject? Yeah, so um, just, just as um, Brother Gibbs just mentioned, so I want to recommend that everyone on the Zoom call, every time you try to speak, just say your name so that everyone is aware of who's speaking so that brother Hack won't have to ask who is this. So if we can just continue to practice that, but just um, building on what um, brother Gabe just mentioned too. So I go to the gym at least six days a week. Um, one of the things that I've been working on is my emotional health um, and also trying to get enough rest too. It's like sleeping is also important um, because you don't want to depend on too took too much caffeine and you don't want to be dependent on that. So part of my emotional health too is I, w I definitely want to practice some yoga and like mental health awareness too. Um, this year, 2021, that's one of my, um, that's one of my new year resolution goals. So, so thank you for that input, right? So when we talked before, we spoke before about um, the five competencies of, um, of uh, somebody help me as a student, help me. What were the five competencies that we talked about? You don't have to name all five, but what, what, what were they called? Three letters. Wait, what was the question again? The question is that in a previous meeting that we had, I talked about five competencies being a part of these three letters that help you to be a better person. So do you remember what those three letters, that acronym was? And even better, if you know the acronym, what, what, what does it stand for? So 
So I'll help you. SEL, what did SEL stand for? No one? Okay. So it means social and emotional learning, right? And as an educator, we have to, we have to kind of like uh, make sure that we are touching on social and emotional learning because we find that, you know, we, we, if, 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 I, if I give you an assignment, you know, and have the expectation that you're gonna do it, and let's say you don't do it, I can't just move forward and give you another assignment, right? I have to reassess and think about, well, what is it that stopped Joshua from doing it, right? And Joshua might've had, uh, like Brother Tardy said, he might've stayed up late the night before or didn't get a good night rest because of whatever was going on at home or whatever the situation was, right? So with, with these particular um, aspects of health education, when we talk about the physical health, the social health, the emotional health, the intellectual health and the spiritual health, and, and, and you, know, you can weave into that the environmental health, but those key components all deal with your social awareness, your, your, your self-awareness, right? So Brother Gibbs acknowledged that you know, he has to get into the gym more often, right? Um, Brother Tardy acknowledged that he would like to, you know, do things that can be more emotionally healthy for him, right? On, on, on that side of meditation, yoga maybe, or some, some type of practice. Even for myself, when, when these two brothers talked about, you know, how often they're in the gym, like I might be the only one that's not in the gym during the week. Now I do push-ups and calisthenics at home, and I have a pull-up bar, but I don't go to the gym, right? And it's not very consistent. So my normally around this time of the year, everybody is coming up with a um, a New Year's resolution to be fit, to be you know more fit. But what about your intellectual health, brother? Tardy just talked about the book that he purchased, Obama's book, and he's about to start reading that. I just purchased um um what's what's this? Tre Trevor Nova's Trevor Nova uh, book um, called Born a Crime. And I just started reading this, you know, so that that kind of helps with the intellectual health. If you're getting out in the morning, like Josh said, and, you know, going to the gym or, you know, going to exercise and running around the, I think it was Aldrich who said he was running around a baseball court. I mean, excuse me, baseball field. Um, that's your physical health. But what are you doing? What are you doing for your spiritual health? How are you keeping in, keeping your spiritual health intact? What is spiritual health? Good mindset, maybe. Good mindset. What else? Is uh, your mental health like how you really feel? How you feel when you wake up in the morning? How you feel when you go to bed? Okay. One last, one last comment. Like, um, for example, like uh, how COVID, uh, it actually like hurt a lot of people's mindsets because can't go out as much, can't see their friends as much or long distance family, travel, all that. Yeah. yeah. Both, <laughs> and, and during holiday season, right? Like think about that, right? We had Thanksgiving on lockdown and Christmas on lockdown, right? So you really couldn't go and do the normal things that you would you would really like to do, like visiting family and stuff. So, how does that this, how does that impact your your emotion, your spiritual self? This this is Brother Gibbs. I, when I think of spiritual health, I think of my relationship with God. Right. Did you Did yeah. you hear me? Hop? Yeah. No. 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 You You're on point. You're on point, and I was gonna go that route, but I wanted to see if one of the young men was actually gonna bring that up, right? Okay. So, what what are you doing spiritually for yourself to keep you healthy? So, uh, that's the the desire is to be closer to God. So, I spend more time um, praying, and I spend more time through the course of the day uh, recognizing or honoring Him for good health. Uh, for business and things of that sort. The things that happen that I know uh, that I'm not in control of, that God kind of uh, 
takes care of for me. And this is like on a daily basis. Um, I give thanks to him. Okay. Anyone else want to chime in? Uh, same here. I've been starting to read the Bible more, more often now. Before I go to bed, I read a scripture or a chapter. Okay. That, uh, Mark, that's actually something that I put on my to-do list this year is actually to read. I've read the Quran through um, during Ramadan, but I have never read the, the Bible all the way through. So that's, my that's on my to-do list this year. Carter, you had something you were going to say? Mike, my name's Aldrich. Um, oh, Aldrich. Me and my dad, me and my dad and my mom usually sometimes at night we listen to the Bible on audible or something like that. Okay. And they and it plays the Bible. And we listen to it. Okay. Let me see. Cameron, we need to see a picture. We need to see you and Jediah. Okay, so let me let me move on to the next slide. Where is it? So I had this um, really short video. It's three minutes long. Just wanted to play for y'all. Wellness is an active process of being aware. Can everyone hear it? Toward a mm -hmm. healthy and fulfilling life. Wellness is more than being free from illness. It's an ongoing process of change and growth. There are eight dimensions of wellness emotional, environmental, financial, intellectual, occupational, physical, social, and spiritual. Each dimension of wellness is interconnected with the others and all are equally important in the pursuit of optimum health. One can reach an optimal level by understanding how to maintain and improve each dimension and by creating balance. Understand your feelings. Express them to people you trust and maintain a positive outlook. It's important to pay attention to self-care, relaxation, stress reduction, and the development of inner resources so you can learn and grow from your experiences. Find surroundings that encourage good physical and mental health and also where you feel safe. A positive environment has a calming effect. Environmental wellness inspires us to live a lifestyle that is aware and respectful of our surroundings. Make it a point to understand your finances. Money plays a critical role in our lives and not having enough impacts health as well as academic performance. Establish good financial habits and plan for the future. Be a lifelong learner by expanding your knowledge and finding creative outlets that stimulate your mind and sense of curiosity. Be open to new ideas, insights, and wisdom. Actively participate in scholastic, cultural, and community activities. Look for satisfaction from things you're passionate about, whether they are part of work, school, or volunteering. Find ways to engage in occupational endeavors and feel appreciation for the value in your contributions. Reduce your risk from many illnesses by increasing activity levels according to your abilities. Get restful sleep at night, choose healthy foods, and explore the outdoors to reduce stress and increase energy levels. A sense of belonging and a reliable support system help during difficult times. Make at least one social connection daily. Seek advice from peers or support groups and create healthy friendships. Enhancing your connections to self, nature, and others brings balance and peace to your life. Disconnect from distractions and be mindful. Discover what values and beliefs are most important to you. Striving to maintain or make small improvements to the eight dimensions of wellness is the key to your overall health. The pursuit of continued growth and balance in the eight dimensions of wellness will lead to a better quality of life. In this module, you will explore each dimension and how nutrition plays a vital role in being the best you.
So that that kind of and can you guys hear me? Can everyone still hear me? Okay. Yes. So that that encapsulates everything we talked about, right? That we discussed, right? So you you you're already on that path, and the fact that you, the ones that really spoke out, um, are aware of that part of them, that's excellent. That is social awareness. That is self awareness, right? And so you, you're ahead of the game when you can acknowledge, you know, where in say, you know, social, social health or spiritual health, you might need some more assistance and then be able to know, okay, maybe I should attend more church services or meditate more, or depending on, it, it really all depends on what you, how your connection is with your, your God, right? Um, with what you deem as God, right? So. Um, but to have that awareness is excellent, okay? So that was just a brief conversation. Like I said before, um, January is health education, so we'll touch base on it again. I might have a guest speaker on, um, on the 24th um, that might come in and be able to have another conversation about mental health and that aspect of it, because I think it was Brother Tardy that, that mentioned, you know, with us being on lockdown and being in isolation in isolation it gives you a chance to be reflective but for some people that can be a stressful situation for them right um to not be around friends family members that sort of thing you know so it will definitely impact your mental health you know being being on zoom meetings all day long you know as a student you know those things can impact your mental health your spiritual health you know your physical health if you start to kind of like, you know, um, begin to feel depressed about certain things. So we want to be able to have a, a conversation about mental health as well. So I'm trying to set that up for our next meeting uh, in January. Okay. So let me go back to the agenda. Uh, I think I forgot some things, huh? So let me see. Yeah. So let me just roll, roll back for a minute. I didn't talk about the Boyd, the Boyd series. So Boyd, Bruce Boyd is, um, he's gonna be resuming his Boyd, uh, what does he call it? Boys Will Be Boys mentoring series, right? And I know I send out the email, you'll probably, you'll receive an email tomorrow about it. He's gonna start it back up uh, January 18th. Uh, this particular session I believe is at noon However, he's offering $50 for participant, for participation, right? So, and I'm not saying everybody's gonna receive it. However, somebody will, right? So it could be you, I don't know. But if you're there, um, definitely, you know, participate, be dressed for the occasion, of course, right? And be actively engaged in it. And maybe you will, you know, maybe you will come off with $50, you don't know. Right, um, so I did want to mention that. Uh, what else? I think that's. Yeah, I think that's going to be it. So we have our our next time we're going to meet is going to be on King Day. I'm working on something right now where it's going to be a physical, so kind of like um, exercising on Zoom, right? So you'll be able to, and I'm trying to find, I got, a, I got a guy that I'm talking to, but if one of my fraternity brothers can step up to the plate, I'm, I'm cool with that too. It's basically an opportunity for, for you instead of sitting on a couch and being a couch potato, the idea is to help you get up and you know, engage in exercise, right? And so we could do some, some you know, uh, calisthenics, some really quick, you know, a warm up, some calisthenics and then a, a cool down and then that'd be that, right? So out, an hour out of your time on King's Day just to be active, right? Going back to physical health, right? Um, that's what the plan is. And then our next meeting is on the 24th of January. So, um, right now, I can't think of any other comments other than how much I appreciate you all being here and participating in this. 
in, in our meetings. Um, I, I trust me when I tell you, I'm glad that you gentlemen are here. Um, you're taking time out of your schedule to be a part of this and we appreciate it. This is strictly a volunteer, a volunteer basis for us to give back to our community. And we actually, I know for me, speaking for me, I enjoy meeting with you gentlemen, right? And I would prefer, of course, we were in person, but even in this atmosphere, it's always good to see each and every one of you uh, actively engaged in being here, right? So I definitely want to just say thank you and just let you know that I appreciate each one of you. And I'm sure my brothers would kind of like echo that sentiment as well. So um, I don't have much more remarks to say other than that. Uh, Brother Paul Mark, is there something that you wanted to say? Yeah, I, I just wanted to say we appreciate you as well. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> appreciate that. Um, for the good of Kappa League, any young men want to share some good news? I know somebody, who was it that said that they were reading the Bible? That was Aldrich or Mark? That was me. I've been, I've been trying. I've been slipping off a little lately, but I got back on yesterday. Okay. Listen, every one of us, no, not one of us has it all under wraps, right? So yeah. I can tell you from personal experience, sometimes I'll pick up my book. And then sometimes I won't, and then I'll get back into it, right? Just like right now with my exercise, in terms of exercises, I had gotten up to, you know, just being able to bang out 50 push-ups in a clip. Right now, because I haven't done it in a while, I probably can knock out about 25, right? But it's just a matter of getting back into the game and, and just acknowledging it. Don't beat yourself up about it and then get in the game and get it, you know, get back in there and you do what you can. That's all, that's all you gotta do. Brother Tardy, you want to make a comment? Yeah, I just wanted to um, share with Mark and anyone else that's interested in reading the Bible. There, um, there's a Bible app that do like a Bible verse a day. So I set a reminder to make sure that I'm I'm at least reading like a verse a day or going into that. And you can also do like um, family. So doing Lent, me and my family, I would invite some of them to read along with me too as part of just um, being connected. And then just to add on, um, like mentoring health is extremely important to me. Um, I want to just extend it to the young men that um, being aware, um, taking care of yourself, self-care is important too. So as you saw in, in the video about the eight um, elements of, of wellness, right? They're all interconnected. So you focusing on like your physical health, just being outside, and getting fresh air too. That's also good for your mental. So it's like being indoor all the time is hard, right? So if you can if you can go in your backyard and just, I know it's cold outside, but if you can just go in your backyard and run or just sit out there and just soak in a little bit of sun or fresh air too, that will also help you clear your mind because everyone is, Zoom is the new reality for all of us too. So it's like being on the computer and looking at the screen all the time isn't always healthy for us too. So taking a step out um, for 30 seconds or just for five minutes in the day, just to get outside and get, get some fresh air, that would be helpful. And that sun is beneficial for you uh, yeah. in, in terms of your health as well, because it gives yeah. you the vitamin D that you need. So just being able to go outside and be in the sun, just go for a walk. Even if you don't want to run, just go for a walk, walk around the block one time. You know, if you don't, if you don't have a dog, I mean, you can use your dog if you want to, but if you don't have a dog, just go around the corner for one time you know, just to be able to get out. So thank you for that, Brother Tardy. So young men, is there any good news that you want to share with your Kappa League young men? Uh, I also wanted to say that's the app I'll be using. Um, it's in the daily, Bible, uh, the daily Bible verse. I get a notification and I go and read it. I'm glad you mentioned that because I was actually in my head when Brother Tardy was talking, I said, you know, ask, make sure I ask him what the name of that, that app is. So it's called Daily Bible Verse. Uh, no, this is the Holy Bible app. And then uh, that's the one I use. And then they send it, and then, There are a uh, few of them. I just used the one called the Bible. It, there's many okay. apps. They all work, though. They all work. OK, awesome. Awesome. So is, any good news anyone wants to share? Now, Mary, you want to talk, you want to talk about your business?
Oh, I yeah. got a hoodie and shirt. I got a hoodie. It's in my room somewhere. Got a hoodie. Um, Wait, I started... you bought a hoodie from him? I have a hoodie and, and, a, and a shirt. Okay, so Damir, talk about this 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 business that you have. Um, I started my own clothing brand in June last year, and like the end of at the end of June, it's called Two Kings Creations, and the clothing line is called Go Driven Mindset. And I basically started it because I have a lot of goals and aspirations and things in life that I want to accomplish, and it's really to empower people. Like it's really to empower anybody that has goals and things that they want to accomplish to go for their goals awesome awesome so, so let me let me so brother how can you send me the link or how, how you get a uh, sweatshirt or t-shirt yeah um, so i actually i was just about to ask him not only to do that but to go 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 grab your shirt or something and put it up in the screen for us so we can see what it looks like now that's free promo right now that man right and, and what I would encourage, uh, what I would like to do, if it's okay with him, um, in our next chapter meeting, uh, let him come on and, and show his shirt to the chapter and maybe we'll get some support there uh, for, for him and his company. So I'm, I'm actually glad you brought that up, Brother Paul Mark, because thank you, thank you, Mark, for showing that. Uh, Damir, you wanna show, show a sweatshirt, a hoodie? I mean, we we even set it up if he wants to do a presentation, you know, a minute or two, he may be able to get some support. Okay, I like that. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Okay. So so listen, young men, one of the things that we've been talking about in terms of my in, in my fraternity meetings is actually having a combined meeting with both the Kappa Leaguers and the brothers of Kappa Alpha Psi. So you all get a chance to see us and vice versa, right? Because this is all about mentor and mentee, right? Us collaborating together and talking together and you actually will get a chance to actually see how Brother Paul Mark, Brother Gibbs actually conducts the meeting, how the meeting is ran, right? So maybe if we can um, maybe schedule that out for maybe February, Bro Brother Gibbs, if we can do that for February? We can. Okay, so our next meeting our first meeting in February will be that Saturday, um, that first Saturday in February. And so I'll send out a link to, for everyone to participate. Make sure you mark your calendar. We generally start at 10, at nine o'clock, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. So we start at 10 o'clock and it'll probably last, you know, say two hours, say 12 o'clock, but you'll, you'll be on there for, hopefully for the whole duration, right? If you can block out that period of time, that would be great. Okay. And so Hawk, let's, let's, if we can, let, let's see if we can work on some type of presentation for him uh, to give uh, about his business in the shirts and make that part of the meeting. Okay, Damir, you hear that, right? And, and tell Damir, I don't have a problem yes. working, or Damir, if you can hear me, I don't have a problem working with you on that presentation. Okay. Um, I'll create one. Okay. Okay. That's good. Love it. Love it. Okay, cool. So, hold no, on. I'm looking at his website now. Okay. If I just have one complaint so far, I don't see any crimson up here. I see a hot pink. <laughs> well, you got a burgundy and gray. I, I let them slide with the burgundy. <laughs> Br Brother Roberts, can you send me the, uh, the link or the email? I mean, the uh, website address? Uh, I'll send it to you. Okay. All right. So this is that part of the meeting where you get to spin the wheel. But before we spin the wheel, I want to make sure that the names are correct. So let me move this over so I can see the names. All right, so Elijah's here, Kahari, Damir. Gabriel's not here, correct? I do not see Gabriel. Joshua. 
Damian Porter, he's not here, right? I did not see him either. All right. How about Mark? Mark uh, Easter? No? No. Trent still here? Yes. Demetrius? No, Demetrius and Emmanuel. Emmanuel is here. Okay, so cool. So give me a second. Let me put these other names in. And I'll drink. Emmanuel, Elijah. Mark Holmes. So I have Josh. Josh is up there. Dyer. Uh, you put my name twice. Who is that? Josh. Oh yeah, I, I left it there. So here's what happens, right? The more active you are in the meeting, the more times you get a tally mark, the more times you get your name put up there. So as of right now, I'm just gonna leave it there for now because I have you down for uh, three, three tally marks. So I just wanna put the rest of the names in and then I'll update everyone else. So when I tell you guys, I need you to participate, you, wanna, you might wanna unmute yourself and participate because it only betters your chance at winning. Do I have Damir up there? Yep. And Trent. Arrington. Arrington's still on? Does that mean no? Arrington not still not there? Is Jaden here? I do not see Jaden. Okay. Mark on Cameron. Cameron is still here? Yes. So Aldrich. Need to add uh, Manuel to hate I see him. You got Emmanuel. Okay, that's what threw me off. Okay. Um, I think you're missing Carter too. Okay. Carter, okay. Uh, Elijah. Do you have Jediah on your list? Yeah. Okay. I think Manuel said you spelled his name wrong. Yeah, take the, e, take the E off. The Emmanuel? Yeah, it's Manuel, Manuel instead of Emmanuel. Okay. And then the last name is T E J E D A. Yeah, there you go. Well, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't be offended. I'm just fixing it here. <laughs> no, that's good. It's good. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, so I got Aldrin. And Aldrin. Audrey, you are you are my first person online, so you definitely a winner from that perspective, right? So your name being up here on the spin on the spin is just extra a bonus for you, right? So Aldrich is there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's correct. Manuel is two times. Mark Holmes got in there five times. All right, Mark. Uh -huh. <laughs> I said I will not be denied. Five. 
Damir is up there three times. There's Damir. Dyer got in once. Okay, got him. Josh, you got three times. All right, cool. I think that's it. All right. So we're going to shuffle this. And we're going to spin the wheel. <laughs> All right, second place. And then you, one of you guys. So, Aldrich, you got two. Remember, this is this is twenty dollars, twenty dollars, and I got I'm doing three more. Okay, so. <laughs> nice crowd music. Right? <laughs> All right. Okay, Mark. <laughs> Say his participation paid off. Participation pays. And the last one, last spin. Damn, Mark two times. <laughs> All right, cool. So listen, I, I will tell you gentlemen, again, I reiterate, I'm always, I'm always excited about today, right? Our meetings. I enjoy coming here. I hope you do as well. And I hope you continue to come. Um, it is 12 after four. I didn't realize that till just now. So my apologies on keeping you 10 minutes over. It's better than last time because last time I think we stayed until like 4.30. <laughs> so I'm making progress, see? I'm making progress. But uh, definitely appreciate y'all being here. And uh, you all enjoy your afternoon. If the brothers can remain on for a minute, uh, I won't keep you long. But young men, you're welcome to sign out. Take care, guys. Bye. 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 Oh, here's Jordan a little late, ain't he? <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, we've been waiting for you, man. Bye bye. <laughs> you know, you do know the meeting starts at three, right? <laughs> yeah, my bad. I was I was out uh playing basketball and I yeah, my bad. It's all good, man. It's all good. So check in, check in with your brother. Um right. and uh join us on the next meeting, okay? Make got sure it, you got it. emails. I'm gonna send some stuff out in advance, okay? Got it. All right. Thanks for being here though. No problem, no problem. You have a good day. You too. Yeah. Hey, Joy. Uh real quick, bro Polmart. Yes, how, sir. How much do we have on your discretionary line of spending? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just